If you were doing like a Noah Coward play, that's what they would speak. So it's very high class and it's sort of had this like mm, snooty element to it. It can, you know, if, if you're all the way back to like Gone with the Wind, then they have like the Southern Belle sound to it when they're like, oh my, I'm, I have the vapors sort of sound. American Southern, which is, um, has the R's, so that might be like Kentucky, uh, you know, Tennessee, Texas, those sort of accents. And and then Cockney is like the real low down, sort of like it's really hard to understand what they're saying. Um, and they really like ble bleed all their vowels together. I got, you know, as a kid, that's why I got into acting because I was like, when's it my turn to be the star? Um, you know, that's why my parents put me in drama camp because I was one of those overactive kids who was like, listen to my puppet show, family. Everyone sit down, it's time for my show. So much of our world is visual, you know, just people making eye contact with each other creates a whole story and that's something that I have never experienced nor possibly ever will, you know, just making eye contact with a person. I can look at you because I know where your voice is and I know that it's a socially acceptable thing to make eye contact, but that's not something I experienced. But people's voices and the way we vocally express ourselves is my whole world. Yeah. Nice to meet you. What I do here is uh, volunteer coordination mostly, and so I recruit, I um, manage, and I track all of our volunteers for our ongoing volunteer opportunities as well as our um, like individual events that we might have. So our biggest one is next May, which is our gala. With that, I work here part-time, which allows me to pursue the other elements of my life that I want to, which are theater and I also do voiceover and so Janet has been amazing in the way that she has supported my career in being able to be flexible with my hours here when needed um, but also understanding that as a theater artist especially at my young age it doesn't really pay a lot so I need to have some steady money coming in. I've been visually impaired my whole life that's always been a part of my identity. You know, we all have some sort of anger or sadness towards something in our life that is seemingly unfair and this is sort of like my burden to bear. Yes, I've always been, um, I wouldn't say necessarily positive about it, it's not something that I'm like, guys, blindness, come on, right? Um, it's great, but it's something that I've always taken on as a challenge and overcome in any way that I can. You know, I have a great passion for this being a blind person myself, but um, I always feel that support from Janet and from um, Warren, who's my direct supervisor, um, knowing that, you know, this is a great supplementary thing in my life that is um, supporting my bigger dreams. And Janet has always said that, you know, I hear her say it when people are leaving this um, organization to go on to other jobs, that this, you know, this is not a place that we necessarily need you to stay forever, but we want that she said, you know, she wants it to be a path in achieving your dreams.